hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here Kamalam Dung Azana hope you stay and I hope you subscribe it's Sunday and me and my hubby are off to church <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? Come say hi, baby. Why? Say what for? Hey, baby. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I got dick. <laughs> Shots of pain and a dash of some memory With large lemons I made lemonade Does it still taste the same if I mix it with some Hennessy? Dreams of being young and unafraid But I love somebody and it drained all my energy Ooh, and I thought that love was magnificent I remember being seven years old Thinking, oh my God, what's it feel to be 23? Now I'm 27 staring at a kid in the mirror And all I do is wonder if he's proud of me Broken promises made me this way, I swear I wasn't always numb and indifferent Bartender, I need one shot of whiskey But what could I tip you to refund my innocence? Service was, yeah, was alright. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey. How was it for you, sir? That's the devil speaking, eh? How was the service? No, it was, uh, it was great. <laughs> Lies. Lifting. Mm -hmm. it, it, was, it was good, man. It was good. It was alright. <laughs> That's the devil speaking. <laughs> <laughs> if each other doubts how much we love him after this waking up in this cold Sunday morning if this doesn't prove to him that we love him, I, I don't know what will ship. Maybe I'm sick and tired, or maybe I'm just kidding. Maybe I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bye bye you guys, I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back. Um, so today I'm off to a China mall. Um, I want to go look for this Arabic middle eastern perfumes 
um, because TikTok has been applying the pressure. Okay, and I wanna I wanna see what the vibe is. Hopefully, I'm gonna get them at um, China Mall, Sable Square in Cape Town. <laughs> That's where I'm going. Um, a lot of people that have been speaking about these perfumes are in Joburg. I think in Durban. Um, I don't know if Cape Town China Mall has it, but I'm gonna find out. Okay, I'm gonna be that person that goes to find out. <laughs> Because I cannot wait anymore. Also, there's this website that I saw that sells these perfumes, but most of them are sold out. Also, I'm not comfortable blind buying a perfume that I don't know what it smells like. So, I'd rather go see what's out there. Um, and yeah, also, like, there's a chance that I'm not even gonna find these perfumes in Cape Town. But at least I know instead of like wondering if they maybe have it. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to request my Uber. I just had to download Bolt now because I didn't have the app. Um, I'm going to download Bolt. I'm going to download Uber, compare prices and request. Um, and yeah, I won't bring my camera. Um, but I will vlog for you guys on my phone when I'm in China Mall. And yeah, let's get going. Hey guys. Sinan's only. The last time I vlogged, I went to China Mall and <laughs> I disappeared on you guys. Um, today's the next week, Sunday. Um, I'm vlogging because I got a, a noti I think an Instagram text or notification from Letitia and she was like, you haven't posted a video in a while, we waiting. That's the only reason why I was like, you know what, let me just vlog. Um Velinda in phone in the Bonalo message. Um so I was like, you know what, let me just vlog. Um so the last time we spoke, I was going to a China mall to look for those Arabic perfumes and I did not find them. Um they didn't have them at all. And well I did find something. I did discover um this shop that sells designer dupes but guys if someone was paying i mean i can't afford i cannot afford anything in that shop still even though it's in china mall um so if you looking for a designer dupe plug for your louis vuittons gucci zonke that shop has them um, so I discovered that and of course I'm always plugging you guys. I shared it on my TikTok and that video went viral. Like that video blew up. Um, it was so funny reading the comments because a lot of people have mixed emotions um, about <laughs> the designer dupes. Um, I also have mixed emotions. Um, but honestly going into that shop and seeing the quality I was just like who's gonna know <laughs> who is gonna know nobody's gonna know um the quality felt amazing and the price point was way out of my budget but i was like because something is out of my budget that doesn't necessarily mean that some people wouldn't be interested and that video just proved just that because a lot of people were interested a lot of people were like yep i know the shop um yeah, but anyways, I don't know to name Tetang Alondo, but um, I did not find the Arabic perfumes. So the next day, um, that Sunday, I was on my way to church. I didn't vlog that. Um, I I made a purchase. I went on Take A Lot, made a purchase, and I purchased the perfume online because. Oh, the TikTok girls are applying the pressure. Um, I really, really wanted to try these perfumes. Out, so I was like, you know what? Let me just purchase something. Let me just bl blind buy something or take a lot. I don't trust take a lot when it comes to perfumes um, because I've read some mixed 
reviews with regards to their perfumes a lot of people say their longevity is not there it seems like the, the, the stuff is mixed with water like it's diluted it doesn't give off the original vibe whatever whatever so i was skeptical but i read reviews for this and the reviews sold me this is why i bought this basically um also don't mind the way i look i'm just at home it's a sunday and this is how i look i'm also cooking i'm cooking <laughs> um I'm, I'm cooking um stew and dumplings okay this is beef stew and dumplings this is like one of my favorite one of my husband's favorite meals and um i've never made this before i have made I've made steamed bread before and everything else and I've made obviously stew before but I've never made them together like I've never put like the dough inside the stew to make the dumplings and stuff because I'm a person that doesn't like textures so but he really likes it he really enjoys it so I'm trying to score brownie points so I'm a bit nervous because this is not my comfort zone you know but I think I'll be fine I'll show you guys the finished product but anyways, let's go back to here. I got this perfume by La Tafa. I don't know how you pronounce this. I'm not even going to try. It's honestly not that deep. So this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. And guys, when you open it, yo, this is beautiful. This is the most beautiful perfume I've ever owned. Um, so yeah, let's open it. I feel like the packaging is what sold me to buy this perfume. I feel like when I saw the packaging, I was like, okay, cool. I'm buying it. Nobody nuki kam nandi. Like, guys, this looks like a trophy. Like, it looks like an award. <laughs> like, it looks, oh, this looks gorgeous. So, this is the stand thingy magic. I wish my hands are so slippery. Um, and this is what it looks like. She's so beautiful. She's absolutely stunning, Kesana. One thing about this Arabic perfumes, the aesthetics, they're giving everything and more. And this smells very, very spicy. Aromatic, spicy, strong, very woody. Um, it's giving... I'm a big boy. It smells, it smells amazing. Um, both men and women can wear this. It's a unisex scent. Um, it smells, it smells like you have money in your bank account, loads of it. Um, it smells like you know what you're doing with your life. It smells like you have life figured out. It smells like your life is put together. It smells like you have an investment property somewhere. It smells like you have multiple streams of income. It smells like, oh, it smells, it smells absolutely stunning, absolutely amazing. If you love sweet, musky, flowery, powdery, floral, sweet scents, she's not for you. This one is for the big, the big boys, you know, when you want to make a statement. Um, this one says, I have arrived. It says, look at me, like... If you don't like attention or smelling strong, this one is not for you. I absolutely love it. Um, I paid 400 rands for this. I take a lot. <sighs> and yeah, I'm tired now speaking. Um, I paid 400 rands, including cust is it customs? No, it's not customs. Including delivery. Including the delivery fee. So it was 300 and something. I'm not sure. But yeah. If I find the link, I will link it for you guys, just in case you're interested. And yeah, this is the very first addition to my perfume collection. Um, I am buying, definitely buying more of these babies. I do have a wish list, and yeah, I'm excited to buy more and review them for you guys. I'll probably do a dedicated video. Um, probably posting a reel as well on my TikTok and Instagram this week about this perfume and um yeah that was a mouthful um so yeah guys that's pretty much it um later on when i'm showing you guys my food 
um and yeah i'm so excited i'm so excited um about just being on here and vlogging i don't know why but for some reason youtube has been the least of my worries because one i have work um two i have tiktok i have instagram I feel like I'm like more active on TikTok and on Instagram. It's more easier on Instagram to be active because you can just put something on your stories. Um, but with YouTube, it's just a lot of work. That's why I was like, you know what? Sometimes instead of not vlogging at all, just put on the camera and just say something. Like it's not that deep, honestly. This is me talking to myself this morning or just now before I started filming this. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm going to be more consistent. I would love to post at least once a week um which is nothing i should be posting three times a week and i'm just struggling with posting once a week um nine to five has me on a chalk hold and um yeah hopefully i'll find a nice balance um yeah i didn't go to church today it is sunday i didn't go to church i've been going to church for the past i think four or five weeks straight um i really, really love it there um i think i found my home church in cape town and yeah i really, really love it there i didn't go today because yesterday i worked i was working yesterday on a saturday so i just needed a day just to fill my cup okay because i just need i just needed today just to stay at home um shoot some content um and just cook a proper meal because during the week I don't have time I don't have time to be making proper meals I just make quick quick 10 minute 15 minute 20 minutes max meals also um, low shading is not helping with the situation so I really I really really wanted to make a wholesome meal today just have a wholesome day journal um, shoot some content relax take a long shower do my self-care looks like look like a glazed donut and just relax okay and reset before tomorrow which is monday um i don't know if i'm going to continue this vlog to the week because during the week nothing really happens in my life other than going to work coming back and repeating but we'll see where this vlog is gonna take us um and yeah Just in case I show you guys the food and then it turns out it's the end of the vlog. This is going to be my outro. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, please comment, please like, please watch the ads. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Um, and hopefully I'll be back on a more consistent basis. I've just been overthinking a lot of things. I've just been overthinking YouTube. I've been overthinking content creation, um, especially when it comes to YouTube, you know, um, I get in my head a lot about what people want to see and what I'm doing and it not being interesting. And you know what? I'm just going to come on here and show you guys what I'm doing. Um, 